Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And in a previous video, I was telling you about fabrication of parts uh, if you want to have multiple copies of them. So if you created something in your CAD CAM software and you wanted to have multiple copies, then you can use your 3D printer uh, to make your rapid prototype and to check things. And, and well, if you're happy with your part that you designed, uh, then there are other fabrication methods if you want to have multiple copies like for example direct injection molding, uh, CNC routing or vacuum forming. Now when I made that video which you can find over here in the description um, then uh, when I made it I was thinking about parts that could be sold in a shop and someone asked me well why don't you run a 3D printing farm to create these parts, uh, these parts for you, like for example multiple printers. And uh, well, I did do this a few times. Uh, it depends on what kind of, of thing you are making and what customers uh, are expecting from you. Like for example, uh, I once made this uh, little part here, which is the observer. Uh, it's a thing that I created and uh, everyone who bought this from me knew I made it myself. So uh, it was fine to have a 3D printed housing, it was fine to have uh, hand soldered uh, electronics inside it, and uh, there was no problem with it. And I, I sold less than hundreds of them. So th this was a very uh, profitable thing to make, uh, and, but I made a small quantity of it and I made the housings using my 3D printer. And I made, well, quite a lot of them because I, I still sell them. Now when you're going to make things that are going to be sold in a shop I don't think that a housing like this which sounds like a 3D print which looks like a 3D print uh, are the way to go because if you as a customer are buying something in a shop uh, then you want quality. You want to have something which is not 3D printed. It has to be very smooth. It has to have a very smooth surface. Uh, it, it has to be shop quality. And then I think that, uh, well, direct injection molding is the way to go, or CNC routing is the way to go. And especially if you want to have large quantities, then it's also very cheap to make it this way. But if you want to have smaller quantities, well, it, it's a bit, uh, sometimes your prints will be cheaper, sometimes uh, molding will be cheaper, and, and you have to dive into it. And this was a, a qu question that I got on my previous video. Uh, why don't you use a 3D printer farm? Uh, multiple printers that are running your prints, uh, so you can create this part multiple times. Which is a very good question. Well, I answered it in the first part because I want to have shop quality. If people are expecting quality like uh, something that is 3D printed, it's no problem. Just 3D print it. But if they are expecting uh, something that is really uh, of higher quality, shop quality, then I want to have it injection molded. And this is why I'm investigating what the prices would be for injection molding. But then the second part of his question was what would it cost to have things printed in a 3D printing farm? And this is a very interesting question. Um, the way I calculate my costs if someone wants to print something on one of my printers is that I uh, charge for the time that my printer is used and I charge for the uh, number of grams of filament that is going to be consumed or, or that is consumed because I weight the object afterwards. Now what I do is uh, I take high quality filament for, for production parts. So uh, my filaments cost uh, 31 euros for example uh, for, for a production part. The, the filament I use is 31 euros a kilogram. Now what I do is I uh, multiply this by 3 because not every part sticks to the bed every time. Uh, sometimes they break loose, sometimes th things go wrong. Uh, you have to take attention to your printer. Uh, you have to load the filament, you have to unload the filament if they want another color. 
etc etc and I want to make profit out of it so uh, my prices will be the filament cost times three then for the printer that is being used uh, I charge five euros for half an hour of printing time and the reason I do this is well I have to pay my electricity bill uh, the printer wears out and I can't use the printer for another thing and again I want to make profit out of it so when it comes to a part like this if you print one part like this it would be around 25 euros to have this printed uh, if it comes down to 18 of this on one build plate the cost would reduce to 9 euros per part because it, it goes faster when I can print multiple copies of them now that being said um, there is also another thing you have to take in consideration and that is the risk you are taking uh, for example prints like this 18 parts of it on a build plate will take nine hours and uh, in this time i want to be at home i don't want to have my printers running uh, and especially when all my printers are running i don't want to have that uh, when i'm not at home i'm afraid for that so uh, i won't do that uh, for example, if I have a print that takes uh, 60 or 50 hours or something like this, uh, I'll start this print on a Friday evening and I'll be home that weekend, maybe go to a shop or maybe be, be away for an hour or something. But I will watch my printer because I, I won't leave it alone. But if I go to my work and be away for 10 or, or, or 11 or 12 hours sometimes, uh, then I won't leave my printer printing while I'm not there so this is also something I take in consideration uh, do I want to have my printing farm and well be watching it all the time I don't want to therefore take take a look for yourself if you have production parts what would be the best way to, to go for you um, for me sometimes i do production parts like these and uh, yeah I, I really love it i think at this moment if i had to choose a printer for it it would be the anacubic i3 mega that's the printer over here and the reason i choose this printer above the other printers i'm having is because of its size uh, there is no box attached to it uh, it's just this printer and it can run off an sd card so i can have the, the files on an SD card inserted I can hit the print button and say I want to print something which is really handy um, now also it has a very sturdy frame and this printer is extremely uh, extremely reliable and therefore uh, well I think that out of all the printers I am having the Anycubic would be the best choice for a printing farm it's not the best printer I have the best printer I have at this moment, I think, would be the Creality CR10 Mini, which is over there. Uh, it produces the nicest and, and sharpest prints uh, that, you, that you can get from a 3D printer uh, here in, in my house. Uh, it's the best printer I am having. But it's not suitable for production work. I'm, I'm sure it's not suitable for it. And the reason being... Uh, the, the, the printer uh, it makes a lot of noise uh, I think it's very very loud um, and also I don't trust it as much as I do the Anacubic there is a box beside it so if I have to run five printers it takes a lot more space uh, there is a larger build plate and uh, well if not if I'm not using the complete build plate I still have to heat up the complete build plate uh, which costs a lot of money in terms of power and in terms of, of what I have to pay for the electricity bill. Therefore, I think that the Anacubic that I'm having here is at this moment my to-go-to printer if I would create a printing farm. But that said, I'm, I'm not doing it. And I'm really uh, curious what, what your thoughts about this would be. Would you be printing in a printing farm or would you go another route and uh, go for in injection molding or things like that? 
uh, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm still yeah, I'm still in doubt what what should I do uh, so please let me know in the comments down below also in the things down below there is a like button so if you like this video then please 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 hit that like button uh, then I know you have seen it until here and uh, well you have liked my video if you're not subscribed to my channel well of course subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video and if you also think that the Anacubic i3 Mega would be the best printer for your printing farm then there is a link with a coupon code in the description down below it's an affiliate link I make some money out of it and you get the cheapest price on GearBest and that said every penny that is being earned on my affiliate links will flow back directly into this channel and will be used to buy or filaments or printers or other great stuff that is 3d printing related so no money will be used to buy other things for myself it will all flow back directly into this channel there will also be links for those printers behind me and uh, well all with uh, coupon codes which are at this moment very very nice to have uh, because the prices are lower than you would normally get when you go to GearBest yourself. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you next time and well until then, bye bye!